Hey, what's going on, you dudes? Welcome to a new video on SAO Fatal Bullet. Hope you guys are having a really amazing day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to complete one of the new quests in DLC 2 called Straya's Request, and she wants you to defeat a lot of different enemies, and it can look a little bit daunting, but don't worry, the game did us a solid. They put all these enemies in one room. Let's go find them. Alright, so this quest is actually really, really easy. Everything that you need to destroy is in this room. That's right, the Forest Edge Midpoint. Take a look at my mini-map right there. Once you get to the little midpoint section, you can see exactly which way I'm going to the room that has something on the left and on the right. Now, what I suggest is that you do this on Extreme Mode because there are a lot of enemies in here and they probably will drop a lot of things. I got a lot of drops in this room. Now, the thing that I was looking for the most are these two right here in the middle, the photonic smogs, and I actually had no idea what they were or where they were, so I googled it, and I found the answer on Google, and I went to this room and just found out to my pleasant surprise that everything is in this room. So, um, you might have to do this room twice, like I said, you're gonna have to go and defeat the two of them, and then there's one more you gotta defeat because you gotta defeat three of them to complete this quest, which is okay, because there are just, you know, a bunch of things in here, and, you know, if you do this on extreme mode, you might have a chance of getting a really nice drop. I got two pretty good drops in here, but I don't think I did this on extreme mode. I think this is actually on normal mode because I went back into my inventory just now as I did the commentary over for the third time to see exactly uh, what rank I got. I got a legendary something or another to drop uh, a little bit later here. You're going to see it coming up. And it's like a weapon rank 6 legendary uh, pistol. And uh, I don't know. I just don't think that's that good. I think I pretty much did this on, on normal mode, which I should have been doing on extreme. So uh, my advice... Go to this room, do it on extreme mode. Not really necessary if you're just trying to complete the quest because if you are not like me and you actually grind the game a lot, you probably have all the legendary weapons that you can get your hands on. But if you are like me and you still are greedy for more legendaries, do this room on extreme mode. And even if you're not trying to do the the quest or whatever this looks like a really great room to grind some stuff because the enemies are just plentiful and you can go right to the midpoint and then go right back in here all right but i know this isn't like the last dlc room i'm still not sure if weapon rank nines are dependent on the demon cave or not that's something that you guys can answer me down in the comments see there's the legendary that i got and yeah i'm looking at it right now I'm, i just appraised it at a deal it's a, a legendary weapon rank six so um you know but that is it. I'll let you see the rewards for this thing because the rewards are actually the thing that I wanted the most. They added a couple of costumes with DLC 2, Betrayal of Comrades, and one of them is okay and one of them is straight fire. And there it is. There is the quest complete. Strayer's request is completed now. I'm just going to go really quickly and show you the rewards. You get the Chaos Battle Suit M Design and 50,000 credits. Chaos Battle Suit in design. It actually looks really, really dope. It's what I think Clarence wears when you meet Clarence for the first time. Here is a good look at it. Uh, there it is. The only thing that kind of kind of sucks is that you got to get that plated armor, man. And I've only got two of those things, so I've got to go and grind the Hakai Brothers so they can give me more of these plated armors. And that even in normal mode, they are like a literal pain in the behind because the one that runs around. I don't remember which one it is, the one with the sword. Like, he's relentless. In normal mode, he doesn't leave you alone. He won't even attack your teammates. He just keeps coming after you. Or at least, he came after me the first time that I did it. All right, so that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If so, please check out one of these videos. And, uh, yeah, see you next time.